portfolios are necessary for any developer out there who is just starting out their career or even if they are in the industry for like a quite bit of time because portfolio as a whole tells a lot about what you are as a developer or what your profile as a developer is basically you can say it's kind of a digital resume that you are showing it uh, to the hrs to the recruiters to the companies who are looking at the profile that you are interested in and at this point of time with the increase in ai there are several tools that can help you directly create a developer portfolio website right from scratch and the only thing that requires here is pure english and understanding of what you exactly want so hey guys my name is aditya your bade bhaiya at coding anda and in this video what we are going to do is we are going to create a personal developer portfolio with just plain english using v0.dev so without any further delay let's get on to my computer screen and let's start with the video so here we have come on to v0.app which is basically a front end development tool which is created by versel and personally talking about v0.dev i have used this a lot in my projects in my personal uh, projects as well from creating a developer portfolio to you know starting out creating a landing page so it has a lot of things you can you know explore it so what we are going to do here is we are just going to give a give it a prompt and understand like what it is giving us what is the real time uh, files that it is creating and also we will be deploying the website on to versel so that it will be you know kind of visible to each and everyone who is looking into the video okay so the first thing it is asked to ask v0 dot v0 to build so okay i will tell um help me create a developer portfolio website which showcases the following details okay so i'll just write down point by point what does what do i want to showcase here so the first thing is myself um wherein i want to tell about who i am where did i graduate um what do i like to do in free time okay so the first thing you can say is like about us about a space kind of thing so the first thing is to tell about myself the second to should be a skill section skill section to display my skills um along with let's say uh the proficiency like let's say in i am talking about javascript so how am i proficient out of 10 so in, in proficiency out of 10 okay so the second section is the skill section the third section would be the projects that i built projects that i have built i want to display the projects that i have built um wherein um i want to link the live site and github repo as well and also generate a uh, you know a cover image which tells about the project cover image about the project okay so the projects are built now next is the internships the internships or the experience that i've got so i can say work slash internship experience tell about the startups where i have worked role and um, what i contributed there okay so this is the work next thing would be let's say i want to display some of my not some of my work let's say i have built up an agency or uh, and i want to get the testimonials from people so i'll just write testimonial section st monial section okay next would be a contact us footer contact me which tell uh, wherein i can just uh, get the user details via an email or a mobile number or something like that to just contact me in case they want to collaborate with me on a certain project or in, on a certain 
X, Y, Z things. And let's say I want to also have a blog page on slash blogs route, which has the list of blogs that um, that I have written and a blog detail page page which which showcases the entire blogs okay so this is what I've done here I have just displayed what I want to get from the LLMs or what I want to get from the AI so these are the basic things these were the requirements that I gave the next thing is how I want to the design should be so I'll just uh, uh, tell it make sure that the design has the following elements okay I want to make sure the design has following elements uh, dark slash light mode toggle I want it to be a dark and light mode toggle uh, the main thing the most important thing is to be mobile responsive Otherwise, it's not worth it creating a website which, which is just, uh, you know, desktop responsive. Mobile responsive, um, I wanted to use um, bright colors, colors and contrast color combinations for the entire setup. I wanted to use the bright and contrast color setup um, both for light and dark mode and the fourth one I wanted to have some animations on page scroll and um, page routing okay so these are the basic things that I have just given it to the LLM and I will just press enter okay so this is the message that I have given this is basically the prompt that I have given now what it will do is if you go here, you see the user wants me to create a comprehensive developer portfolio. It was, it was just thinking over here with multiple sections, features. This is a complex project that involves. So it is understanding what the user actually wants. So that is the thinking process that is that it follows. And then it gives, I'll help you create a comprehensive developer portfolio website. This is a substantial project with multiple features. So let me first generate some design inspiration and let's break it down into manageable tasks. So next. It is generating some design inspirations. He has some design, he or she, sorry. Uh, the LLM has some design inspirations and now it is planning the portfolio build to start. So it takes up it, its time based on the prompt that you gave, based on the requirements that you have. And it will then start up building the project. Like it will start creating all the files. It will start linking all the files and then work with it. So. Now we see we have the task one of six in progress. So here it's like it's reading the files layout.tsx and globals.csx. So talking about v0.app, here the main thing that it does is it uses Next.js with TypeScript and ShadCN along with Tailwind CSS for developing the entire project or entire, you know, the code base. So now it's setting up the theme. Now if you see here, we have the left hand side which is kind of the entire LLM site and the right side is where the actual actual code writing and preview is done. So if you go here, if you click on this part code, you will be actually be able to see the if the code has been written or not. Okay, if here if we can see it is setting up the theme system. So I will just go here, I have clicked on it, it will take up its time to load and you know display us the entire uh, code base. So after setting up the theme system, you if you see here, you have building the portfolio homepage. So it is building one section at a time. Once the first section is done, then it goes to the next section and then it works on the other sections as well. Once the earlier section is completed. Here, based on the tasks here, if you see the first task is completed, which was basically setting up the theme system. Next task is to build a portfolio homepage. That is also done. The next task is create skills and project section. If you will complete that task, go to the experience and testimonials, then the block uh, system and then the animations and the polishing part of the entire site. Let's wait for the entire project to get completed and let's see what the final output would look like. 2000 years later. After almost 10 minutes of waiting, we finally have our portfolio website ready. 
will flow is this okay so as we said what are the things that we want was first the about skills project experience testimonial everything so here we get the project experience and everything it's like hi i am we'll have your name added and like one liner about yourself or who you are what are your skills what are you passionate about etc and after that you have get in touch and view projects and here if you see on the bottom left corner if you see there are hyperlinks which are embedded over here for github for linkedin for gmail for projects and everything so about me who am i i am a full passionate full stack developer with a love for creating innovative digital solutions so that at that point of time at that place you can just cut that and add what you are where did you do your bachelors where are you currently based what i love doing in my free time what are your things that you love doing in case it's not visible here it's written as free time is photography hiking reading tech blogs open source gaming etc and professional interests are web performance ui ux design cloud architecture ai ml integration that's it so after that we have the skills and expertise as i said that i want that to give me the skills and expertise based on a rating out of 10 so based on different different domains it has classified that is a good thing to do because when you are giving it to a recruiter they should understand okay in front end development these are the tech stack he or she knows and what are their you know rankings they say among about them out of 10 so for react we have 9 we have node we have 8 mobile we have react as 7 programming language design tools and everything and as i said i wanted to have uh, you know a cover page which tells about the projects let's say here we have e-commerce platform and a task management app e-commerce platform a small description what are the tech stack that we have used here and two links one would be the live link live website link if you have the live website link or else the github repo same goes for the task management app if you see here if i hover on this they have created a small animation as well that i said like the image is getting a bit overlaid by a black color so that is also very good thing as in it takes care of all the user experience that is needed to enhance the you know what how user goes through the entire website and these are some of the other projects that it has shown so talking about the work experience now it gave me the work experience from the first company the uh, position that i had the company name the start and end date the location was it a full time was it a part time job here a basic idea about what the role was about and what were my contributions at that team or in that company along with the technologies that i had used over there so it gave me for the three ones uh, three different different uh, work experience and this is about you know the testimonial section what people say now here what you can do is instead of this sj you can add the profile pictures from of uh, the people who are giving you uh, the testimonials from linkedin from any site as well so that you know uh, it becomes a good thing to you know display what are your skills and what how people think about you on your resume if you have built up a product or if you have uh, uh, started selling a course anything like that would work and at the end let's say here we have the get in touch page wherein it's like the contact us page let's connect if you are over email this is the email if you are over a phone number the phone and the location and a form basically to send up the email to you so that the person can connect with you so this is one thing um let's check about the light and dark mode okay they have also have a good light and dark mode it's very good they have basically if you see here they have used green and a shade of blue and black so it's like not or many colors are used but three or four max colors are used here to enhance the experience and uh, particularly when you are creating a portfolio it's better to use very limited colors max four colors not more than that so that you know it looks a bit elegant it looks a bit aesthetic rather than jumping off and putting all the colors that are available on the color palette onto your profile to enhance okay so let's go over to the blog section if we see we have the blog section or not is the website able to create i think so no okay what i'll do is i'll have the slash blogs okay it is telling to have slash blogs so i'll just enter here okay sometimes what happens it's is it uses okay no issues here if we go here if we have here we have the blog section wherein all the blogs that if you are writing your blogs you can display it over here 
along with the text tag, what is the title, a small slug about it, and where was it, when was it published, and what is the reading time. The best thing here, what you can do is, if you're writing blogs on Hashnode, you have the Hashnode GraphQL API, you can just fetch those API and display the content over here so that the blogs from your Hashnode are also displayed on your portfolio. If I click on this to understand if I can get the blog details about what the blog was, the blogs section here, the reason being it has some integrations that is to be done, but since I have uh, you know, vanished all my token for V0, it is not able to publish. Otherwise, it would, you know, publish it on a very good manner and on a very good scale. And talking about this particular uh, software, what you can do here is if you see there is something called design mode. So design mode helps you to actually take control over the DOM. Okay, if you want to change the accent color, you can change the accent color over here for the foreground, for the base for the popover, for the, you know, chart, ring. So it's like you are able to customize the CSS for your website right from the web UI rather than going on to the inspect element and going on to the Chrome DOM and, you know, publishing it or checking if it is working or not. You can directly change it from here. And it is for all the components and all the pages across the entire application. So let's say we are, we, we think, okay, it's good. Um, compared to what other LLMs or what other AI tools are able to do. I think this is a good project to start with. I'll not have the blog here. I'll just put it like this. I don't want to use um, blog. I will just have a slash. So it will get over to the home page. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to publish it. I want to publish it to the web. Here we have an option to publish it as well. There is a deployment warning. No, I, let, us, let, us, let us directly publish it. And it will publish with the help of V0. Okay, it's telling me to connect to Vercel. I think it's already connected because I already use Vercel. So now if you go to Vercel, if I go to Vercel.com, you will be able to see there is a project getting loaded and there is a project um, getting published right here. So I'll go here and I'll click on um, here, fix with V0 or I'll go here, I'll click on update or inspect on Vercel to check where the project is. It's not here. Okay, V0 developer portfolio website. It's giving me an error. Expected, unexpected EOF because I was not getting the slash blogs slash integration that it had. Unfortunately, I don't have the right amount of tokens that are needed here. If you have a premium version or if you are just a starter who have not used their tokens you can directly you know debug the entire things and you know work with your portfolio right in terms with ai what we did today is we just created a developer portfolio but we did not even code a single page we did not even write a single tsx file or you know css file or create a repository to deploy it on versal it was just done right with the help of a simple click and with the help of a basic english prompt on how we want our developer portfolio to look like. So many such tools like v0.dev, Lovable, these are the tools that you know actually can help you uh, automate your work or automate with ease if you are someone who does not know how to you know code uh, properly or have an idea in mind on like this is how the UI I want it to be, but you are not sure how you want to start coding with it. These are the tools that can help you ease your work easily. You just have to give what you want in a correct English format or in a correct structured format so that you get the response that you want and you know at the end you are also happy and everyone is happy. So yeah, uh, this was it for the video. If you like the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.